Virgo, welcome. It's Jeff here at Raise Your Vibration TV, and that means only one thing. It is time for your weekly tarot reading. Ooh, yes. Welcome, Virgo. And this reading is going to be for February 5th all the way to February 11th. So welcome, all my OCD Virgos out there. How y'all doing? How you doing, squirrel? You know who you are. All right. Miss you. I'll see you soon. All right, let's get the vibes. Ooh, oh my God. Man, some of those flew off the edge of the table there. All right, I'll be right back. Please stand by. All right, Virgo. We got a lot to talk about. Lots of cards. Ooh, uh-uh. Mm-mm. Uh-uh, uh-uh, uh-uh. Wow. This is good energy. This is really good energy. Okay. Hmm. A lot of intuitive work going on. A lot of your message right now is getting in tune for something here. I don't want you to be tied down to any thoughts or decisions you have to make. The Queen of Swords energy cuts all cords, speaks her truth, follows her intuition, and leads to more prosperous things. For this week, you're going to have to do that. But I got ahead of myself because I got really excited about these two. But let's go over the cards. We got the Devil. The Devil is always, you got a nasty habit of. Queen of Swords is believing your bullshit or believing somebody else's bullshit. Okay, the high priestess is somebody who is highly intuitive, trusts her intuition, trusts their feelings. The queen of cups gets in tune with their feelings. They, their crown is illuminated. The crown that is allowing this energy to come in. You are being highly guided to allow the universe to guide you this week. Seven, the Knight of Pentacles is slow and steady, and it's working with a group of people. It's being around a group of people. There's a lot of prosperity in a group of people. Don't isolate yourself this week, all right? Let's get some clarifiers for you, Virgo. Um, Could be job offers coming in. You just have to... The, the reason why the job offer or the raise or whatever it is that you want isn't there is because you believe you're not worthy of it, and that's the big thing. When you get in touch with your inner wisdom, you know damn well you are worthy of it. Okay? So, let's shuffle these babies up and see what else they have to tell us for the week for you, Virgo. February, almost Valentine's Day. Hope everybody gets some. Oh, boy. Looks like Virgo could be, that's for sure. <laughs> However, look, don't be tempted to give in to your fear of failures. Five of Pentacles. We don't want to give in to our fears, all right? The, the way out of it is to speak your truth. Say what you need to say, make the decision, and stick to it. Page of Swords is, come, is kind of looking at the Queen of Swords here like, hey, I got a better way, but only you, need, only you can decide that. When you do, the Knight of Cups comes in with an offer and the Ten of Cups is payoff. It is a beautiful, beautiful end to the week with a group of people being around the group of people that you love so much, family, that kind of thing. Really good energy here. But we've got a little warning, a little red flag here. Don't be tempted to fear. Let go of your fears, doubts, and worries. All right? Let's do some oracles. Psychic Tarot. Let's see what they got to say for Virgo for the week. All right, what do we got? What do we got for Virgo? Thank you. Ooh. Thank you. Okay. Yeah, look at this. Heartache and loss, obstacles and challenges. I don't want you to focus on that. I don't want you to focus on that. In fact, what it's asking you to do this this week, Virgo, is use that sacral energy. Use that that creative spark. That's getting your spark back, which ignites the solar plexus. And it's primal. It's sexual. 
you know, I, I hope you get some. Looks like there's an offer coming here. But what it's all entails is moving on. You're moving on from a situation. And when you do that, when you change your mind and don't focus on these obstacles and challenges, everything starts to flow. It is really trusting the universe, really trusting the universe. You really don't know where you're going yet, but you know goddamn well it's going to be great when you get there. All right? Okay, let's get some psychic tarot for the heart. That leads us into the love portion. Because, you know, we got an offer coming here. We got you uh, getting in tune with yourself. It's just, it's this stuff over here at the beginning of the week. We don't need to encounter. We, we can vanquish that by trusting the universe is giving it to us in divine timing. Keep them or no, no. All right. Oh, I think those were the same cards. I'll be it. Unbelievable. All right. This is what you want to do. Choose your battles and choose them wisely. Don't be tempted to get involved in anybody else's bullshit or drama. Don't take on their energy when you know that it's yours. That could be messing you up. You know what I mean? What you need to do is take control. Take control. Take your power back. In this situation, you are always in full control, Virgo. Seek the truth. That will give you insight. And what it's showing here for seeking the truth is going within. The truth is within. It's not out there. Just breathe this week. Don't focus on this stuff. Don't be tempted to. Stand your ground and persevere. Take the lead. Take your power back. That's incredible. That's incredible. Now let's look at the love. Let's see what's going on here. Maybe there's a love loss. You know, and, and you know, well, do I, do, I, do I fight this battle or do I walk away? You know? Well, let's see what the love deck's got to say. This is my specific deck just for love. I didn't choose it, it, cho it chose me. I was gonna sell it in my store. And I said, nope, I'm your love deck. I'm like, okay, never had a love deck until now. All right, what do we got? Yeah, I want you to pay attention to 555. Five, five. We've gotten three of them so far. Don't let one asshole spoil the whole trip for you. You know what I mean? You have to believe in divine timing here. Again, that's trusting the universe. Seek the truth. Just breathe. Moving on. That's happening. That's twice you're moving on. You're going to make swift change here by taking the lead, and it brings you to success. You can't make this up. There is you probably walking away from a relationship that you feel out of control with, and if you trust your intuition and lead it to you, you deserve better, and when you go within... You find that you have been without and you move on. And that is brilliant because what transpires afterwards is fantastic. And this could be about a job. And then finally you get the call and then you leave. You know what I mean? It's always moving you towards something better, Virgo. Remember that. All right. And this, re and this relationship that you are finally letting go of is going to free you. You know, I'm. I, it's been a while, but this relationship... It's still on my mind. It still bothers me, and I need to take control of it. I'm not going to let this get to me every time. You know what I mean? For some of you. All right. Mastery. You've learned the spiritual lesson about choosing your battles and where you put your focus. Where are you going to put your focus? On this or this? The Five of Cups is halfway to the Ten of Cups. What are you going to choose? Where are you going to put your focus? That's the lesson, my dears. Longing. Someone is secretly yearning for you. Mm. Mm. Take the lead in that. Pay attention. Follow your inner guidance. Seek the truth. Ask. Hey, do you got feels for me? Because I got feels for you. You know, that kind of thing. 
Patience, Virgo, everything will unfold in divine timing. That's that temperance card right there. There's clarification. God damn, that's good. All right, let's get closing messages for you. Whew, man, I'm going to need a smoke after this, you know? <laughs> Jesus, this was pretty good. It's, it's very simple. Remember where you're putting your focus, and if things haven't come into your existence yet, that means you've got some work to do. Seek the truth, go within. Jump in. Virgo, you're being asked to take a chance and give whatever you're questioning a try. The stars will never align you in the wrong way. Sometimes you just have to take that leap. That is time. But you will know in divine timing when to take that leap. And you are going to be taking action to move forward. And when you do, 2024 will be a breeze. All right, Virgo, love you all so much. And I will see you next week.